Casey and you are watching Castaway with Casey. Hey, we're talking about pond structures okay. today. A little bit of how, but more about why you should make one. Better ask somebody, huh? You bring the bluegill to your side of the pond, they become fam. Bluegill are taking a chance getting that bread. It's just, just some bread for goodness. Guys, sake. you ever see a flying bluegill? Oh my god, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that bluegill fly? That bluegill went flying. Did you see that? I was like. 20 feet of air. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Bluegill, three foot of air, got slammed. It was stunned. I'm sure it's still stunned. It has to be, it's gotta be concussed. Oh, that? Yeah, I made that. The underwater video? Yeah, I made that too. PVC pipe, it's a tree. No, it's not real, but what if it was? <laughs> Who wrote these lines? I know plastic, right? It'll make it how they used to. I don't know. I hope the fish like it as much as the real thing. I bought one of these and a big selfie stick. Something down there broke it, I don't know. Large mouth bass. Swimming highlight bread. reel. It is Ratchet, the bread eating largemouth bass. Guys, that's Shark Week stuff right there. Not a bad start at all.
inside scar across his face, Scarface's hunting style. Showing you the open hand slap, and if he misses, that you better not be laughing at, because he's coming with that backhand. He's got you. That is his game. Structure, construct or arrange according to a plan. Give a pattern or organization to. Guys, when you create your own pond structure, make it easy on yourself and keep it simple. Four inch PVC pipe for the trunk, three quarter inch PVC pipe for the limbs. Remember, you are building to bring in the bait fish. You are not building to bring the bass. The bait fish will bring the bass. Draw the bluegill in with some pieces of bread. Bread. Not a bad thing at all. I'm just showing my appreciation to these bluegill for coming over and hanging on my side of the pond. Oh, that fish was fast. Oh, I got to sit down here for a little bit in the garage. In here to show you guys how this artificial underwater structure, this PVC tree is made. Now, I hope you guys didn't pack your lunch. No scheduled breaks, and guess what? You can use the bathroom if you need to. telling you you need to make this particular structure. That's not what we're here in the garage for. Throughout the show, you've seen this structure in action, okay? I've just been calling a house, seeing it. I've guided you along to follow the facts, and I've provided you the video evidence of why you would want to make a structure like this put in your pond. If you have decided that this is the structure that you want to make, hey, the list of tools, materials, and instructions is in the description below. Not gonna leave you hanging, I'll do the heavy lifting for you. Let's kick it off with the materials first. The first thing you're going to need is four inch PVC sewer pipe. This is gonna be for the trunk of the tree, the main body of the tree. You're sold in 10 foot sections at your local hardware store. I recommend you cut that sucker in half and work on five foot sections. You can always put both in the pond or you can give one to a friend. That's your decision. I already got these bad boys pre-drilled. We're saving you some time. All right, I'm not showing you guys how to fall asleep during Castaway with KC. That's for the limbs. Three quarter inch PVC pipe. This is your standard irrigation pipe. That's it, that's it, that's, that's the materials you're gonna need. Now let's talk about the tools we are going to need to make this project a success. You need, these are must haves, all right? You're gonna want a power drill. With that power drill, you're gonna want this one inch hole saw. All right guys, right. this is the last must have thing. Nice little hacksaw right there. Okay. Guys, you're gonna wanna offset these holes, okay? Now it's a tight fit to get these bad boys through the four inch PVC pipe. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a 45 degree cut. There we go. Hey, we got that angle cut. Next, see how it's already in there? It's easier to work in. Now you just have to send it through the other way. If you gotta do one of these, cover your ears. You just work that thing in there, that's it. Hey, are we done? We're done? Cut? Guys, that's it. That is, hey, take it easy on yourself while you're making this project. Can't go wrong with it. Let's get. This one, no look. Kobe. All right, we're going out with a bang. See ya. Then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and tell your friends that Casey's out here showing you a thing or two. What's up, everybody? It's Cup of Pot coming in hot. Cup of pot coming in hot. What you got on your nose, everybody? What you got? Oh, don't show the camera. Come on, put that thing away. You go wash your mouth. Uh -uh. See that? That's Chester Copper Pot right there. One of the best birds out there. Florida Sandhill Crane. Love them or leave them alone. Right. Name, Name that, that bird. bird. Hey guys, Chester Copper Pot right here. Hey. We got fish with names, we got birds with names, they all have personalities. We got Copper Pot, we got Range Rover, we got Baby Bird right here.
Guys, this baby bird needs a name. The world is waiting, and I'm counting on you guys to give this bird a name. If you have an idea for this baby bird, a nice creative name, let's keep it clean, just the comments below. Hey, get your friends and your family to come and hit that like button on your comment. The top three names will be revealed in the next episode. And guess what? One of y'all's is gonna win. We'll throw in a little you know, eight by 10 picture autographed with that bird. Autographed picture of that bird. With that bird. With that bird. Those birds. With those birds. Autographed picture. Ha ha ha.